How to Wiz IQ Basic Training, Lesson 221, 221, Uploaded Files and How We Control Those. Now, if you're visiting this, um, you will want to go back and look at um, Lesson 220, Upload to Class, because we looked at a few things. But um, here we're looking at our PDF, and we can see that we can rotate these automatically. We can change the sizes using this over here. Oh, we can't take it back down, but I can shrink it and then I can automatically take it up to use up as much screen as is available. Um, we have the ability to zoom out and that can help certainly. Let's look at our this was a one page thing. This one has several pages. So first of all it's handy to go in and change some sizes of pages we can also, let's look at this real quickly, we're going to look at this later. Here's a rectangle, and say I want to cover some information for later classes. I'm going to use a fill style to make it not just a square box, but a solid box. And I'm going to move down into my document and block out some areas. Now, one of the interesting things to notice, let's go back up to page one again and we will miss some of that page if we jump to the whole page view but um, no matter how I shrink or expand this those boxes stay the same size and that's very convenient for us it's a it's tied to the document now so if I take the selection tool one thing I can do is I can look behind it and my students cannot see that also I can move it as I wish I can obviously resize it. We'll look at that later. But what I find is sometimes I put answers at the bottom of pages. That way when I go in to start the class, I cover up the answers. I can still sneak a peek, but they cannot. Another thing to look at here, is this one of the slides? Yes, this is a slide series. So here in the slide series, we see that we have the ability to um, go previous and next. We also have the ability to jump from slide to slide, and that obviously means you would need a little bit more information. Now this button, oh, they've got a thumbnail view. Cool. That's something I hadn't seen before. So with different types of documents, we have different types of functionality with the um, uh, interface on the whiteboard. Let's see if I can get it back where it was. Okay, and um, <clears throat> we'll take another look inside of our content library. As discussed before, we also have the ability to organize our media files. And in, for my case, special effects, I've got files just of, some of them are funny, sometimes audiences, um, uh, different audio files that I like to use. Also, there's quite often, there's you like to organize your videos and other files. Let's see if we've got one. Um, okay, so under karaoke, I've got everything that applies to that, including a video, and I can look at page two. So it's much more convenient to organize files by subject rather than type of file, and that's how the content library file folder system will work much better for you. And we'll close that out. So that pretty much covers um, uploading and manipulating files once they're in. Also notice that if you have more files, as you fill up files across the top, let's load up another file or two. Here's another important point. Say I want to bring in a file twice. I do this quite often with documents because I don't want to flip pages back and forth. It will ask me, are you sure you want to have a second occurrence? And I do. And now, you'll see that we have the ability to use these scroll buttons to go back and forth within our um, list of... Well, it didn't work on that one. But anyway, well, you do... When you get too many in, it will come in here and you can go back and forth and you can kill them. <laughs>